So first of all, we will start with the limit test for lead. Lead is heavy metal and it is common impurity and that that may come from the containers or uh, that water piping and sometimes they, they are present in a raw material itself. So we are going to discuss about the limit test for lead. Now limit test for lead is based on the reaction of lead with dithiazone or diphenyl carbathiazone itself that lead di dithiazone itself in chloroform is having a green color this dithiazone in chloroform is having a green color but when that reacts with lead when that reacts with lead then it forms lead diethionate or lead diethiazone complex that prepares lead diethionate or lead diethiazone complex and that complex is of violet color so this violet color intensity is compared sample which produce violet color intensity is compared with the standard in which known amount of lead is already there and the procedure is performed in the same way and the finally both the color intensity is compared so sample should have less color intensity than the standard okay so how this is performed See, I have not included what are the quantities of uh, all reagents are used. Here, we are more interested in a basic concept and the sequence and what is the role of each reagent. In that, we are interested. So, commonly, uh, if we look at the common procedure for the lead without quantities, so first of all, sample which uh, for which uh, we are going to test the lead impurity is dissolved in the prescribed quantity of water then sample is dissolved in water then ammonium citrate potassium cyanide hydroxyl amine hydrochloride then phenol red indicator is added and lastly ammonia solution is added this ammonia solution will make the solution alkaline and as uh, the indicator is phenol red that will produce red color. So sample added with all this reagent, ammonium citrate, KCN, hydroxylamine, hydrochloride, phenol red and ammonia. Then it is extracted with dithiazone extract solution. Dithiazone extract solution. Now, this dithiazone extract solution contains dithiazone in chloroform. So several times that sample uh, with all this reagent added in a separating funnel, then dithiazone extract solution is added, then that is second and the layer, dithiazone layer uh, which contains chloroform that will extract lead from the sample that will extract lead from the sample several time that is extracted and that extract is combined that extract is combined now what is to be done after combining all the extract they are further extracted with one percent nitric acid now nitric acid is aqueous phase nitric acid is aqueous phase and uh, that, that that solution that extract was also containing chloroform along with dithiazone complex with the lead so that will come in nitric acid layer and the chloroform layer is discarded chloroform layer is discarded now what will happen that nitric acid or aqueous phase aqueous phase will be further added with standard dithiazone solution now this standard dithiazone solution is added that will also contain chloroform and that is second for 30 minutes. So after shaking 
that nitric acid layer with standard diethyazine solution. Now what will happen is color, violet color is produced in a chloroform layer because of lead diethyazone complex. So that color is compared, color intensity of violet is compared with the procedure performed in the same way with standard lead solution with standard lead solution so in that instead of sample standard lead solution means lead quantity which is prescribed uh, that is dissolved in water and everything uh, will will be performed in a same way so after comparison if sample uh, or a test solution contains less violet color then it passes limit test for lead if it contains more color intensity, more violet color, dark violet color, then this standard, then it fails limit test for lead. So that is about limit test for lead.